Today we're going to work with fractions that involve square roots. When I say fractions with square roots, what I really mean is fractions that have addition or subtraction in the numerator and a single number down at the bottom. Something that looks like that. Now before we get started looking at examples with square roots in them, let's start with something basic that's more familiar to us. Consider this example here. 15x plus 10 over 5. You know that this means both of these pieces here are being divided by 5. So we have 15x divided by 5 plus 10 divided by 5. Once I've broken it in half, I can simplify each part. 15x divided by 5 is 3x. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And so, written in simplest form, this fraction is 3x plus 2. Now let's extend this to something with square roots. Let me start by saying that it feels a little bit overwhelming. It's going to, at least for the first several examples. You need to just take your time, follow the process, and everything will come together for you. Just be a little bit patient. Our first example here tonight is 6 minus the square root of 24 divided by 4. First thing you do is break it apart. So I have 6 over 4 minus the square root of 24 over 4. Now I have two separate fractions. Once you have two separate fractions, what you need to do is go ahead and simplify the square root. The square root of 24 simplifies to two square roots of 6. So we'll take out that square root of 24 and replace it with two square roots of 6. That leaves me 6 over 4 minus 2 square roots of 6 over 4. Something that looks like this. Finally, once you've simplified your square root, you can go ahead and reduce the fractions. 6 over 4 becomes 3 over 2. 2 square roots of 6 over 4 becomes 1 square root of 6 over 2. That gives me 3 over 2 minus the square root of 6 over 2. And this, written right here in green, is this in simplest form. Now, if you want to be fancy, if you have a common denominator, you can put the pieces back together. Whenever you have that common denominator, you just push everything together. 3 minus the square root of 6, all divided by 2. Both this and this are mathematically equivalent and are correct. Let's take a look at another example. On example 2, we have 9 minus the square root of 162 divided by 9. First thing I have to do is break it apart. Now be very careful. There's always a temptation to cancel these out. But you can't just cancel those because both pieces are divided by 9. You cannot do any reducing or any canceling until you've broken the fraction apart. 9 over 9 minus the square root of 162 over 9. Once we've broken it apart, then we simplify our square root. The square root of 162 is 9 square roots of 2. So that gives me 9 over 9 minus 9 square roots of 2 over 9. 9 over 9 reduces to 1. 9 square root of 2 over 9 reduces to the square root of 2. And so what I have is 1 minus the square root of 2. In our third example, we have something really cool going on here. We have a square root with a coefficient. We have 8 plus 2 square roots of 54 all over 4. First thing we do you said it, break it apart. 8 over 4 plus 2 square roots of 54 over 4. And now that I've broken it apart, what do I do? Yep, I simplify the square root. 2 square roots of 54 becomes 6 square roots of 6. Now that I have this, I have 8 over 4 plus 6 square roots of 6 over 4. And now finally, the last thing I'll do is I'll simplify each fraction. 8 over 4 becomes 2. 
6 square roots of 6 over 4 becomes 3 square roots of 6 over 2. So what do I have? 2 plus 3 square roots of 6 over 2. Now I do not have common denominators here. Because I don't have common denominators, I can't push the things back together in one piece. And so I simply leave it 2 plus 3 square roots of 6 divided by 2. Example 4 is similar to the 3 we just saw. What I'd like for you to do here is to try this example on your own. Please pause the video and then we'll check your work. Let's take a look at the solution. We have 10 plus the square root of 72 all over 15. First thing we did was break it apart. So we have 10 over 15 plus the square root of 72 over 15. And the square root of 72 reduces to 6 square roots of 2. That gives me 10 over 15 plus 6 square roots of 2 over 15. Now that I've reduced my radical, I can go ahead and simplify the fractions. 10 over 15 is 2 over 3. 6 square roots of 2 over 15 is 2 square roots of 2 over 5. I simply reduce the 6 and the 15. That leaves me with 2 over 3 plus 2 square roots of 2 over 5. And because I don't have common denominators, I can't put the pieces back together. I simply leave it just like that. This is how you work with square roots in fractions when you have addition or subtraction in the numerator.